of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. From a human point of view, at Christmas, nothing happens. Nothing happened. From our own human point of view, we are locked up within our own eyes and experiences. And there is only an ever-repeating circle of birth and death, happiness ending in unhappiness, youth ending up in aging. From a human point of view, there is only this routine of daily life or yearly life, where nothing new happens. If we examine the birth of the child of today's feast, merely from our human point of view, then one could easily quote only the bitter text of Job chapter 14. Man born of woman is short-lived, heavy with cares. He blossoms like flower, wilts, is gone like a snow, and does not last. But if in, this, in faith we say it's Christmas, it changes everything. It is Christmas. If we are able to say and recognize this, so much happens. We are confessing that it is not an ordinary day. It is Christmas. It is not an ordinary day as if nothing had happened. When we say, or to be more precise, when we recognize that it is Christmas, everything changes. Actually, only Christians can say and mean that it is Christmas. Only we know its true meaning. It is a confession just as important when we profess our faith and say the creed together. It is Christmas. It is a witness. It is a witness to the fact that an event came bursting into the world and into our life. An event that has changed all that we call the world and our life. This event alone has provided a goal and a purpose for everything. So when we celebrate together and say it's Christmas, we celebrate that there is a new purpose in life, a renewed purpose for our love. With this birth, and I'm quoting Karaner again, God no longer looks down from his eternity upon my constantly changing life. The eternal has become time. The Son has become man. The eternal purpose of the world has become flesh. Through this incarnation, that God has become man, human life has changed. Why? And this is at the very heart of our Christmas celebration. Because now the world and its very destiny concerns him. Since the eve of Christmas, our life concerns God. Our world, our life, are now part of his very self. As if were 
from this moment, from Christmas, we are inseparable twins. We are like inseparable twins with Jesus. He is no longer a spectator from the outside, from his heavenly throne, but he is an Emmanuel. God is with us. Even more, God is of us. God is from us. Family events, the great turning points of our life, hunger, weariness, enmity, fear and death and joy, all, everything are part of God's shared life with us, shared with us in Jesus. So when we say it is Christmas, we are saying that God is in the world. When we say it's Christmas, we are saying that God is in our life, within our lives. God is in the world. It is Christmas. From now on, there is an unbelievable fellowship between the eternal God and us. It is Christmas. It also means that in the business of our lives, now we are given a quiet time. And let us use this wonderful stillness well, which we enjoy today and tomorrow on Boxing Day. On Christmas Eve, God has spoken into the world his deepest, his most beautiful word in the incarnate world, a word of love that can no longer be revoked. When we have a look at the crib after the Mass, let us recall this, that in the crib, God has spoken into the world his deepest, his most beautiful word in the incarnate word. And this love can never be revoked. So let us use the time of these couple of days, actually the octave, the week of Christmas, to respond to God. Let us carve out a little cave of response in our life to respond to this gift. Now it is our turn to give a free answer, the free answer of our faith. It is indeed Christmas. Let it be a heartbeat with its meaning. It is Christmas. It is a chance to you and me, to all of us, to speak and live differently. We can live in a dialogue with God's self-offering. It is Christmas. It is a real dialogue between you and the newborn baby. It is Christmas. It is a real dialogue in this coming year among ourselves here at St. Augustine's. We can call this dialogue with God's Christmas, with God's Christmas love, a home. A home for both of us, God and the human family. Let us celebrate that it is Christmas and all it involves.